upcoming. Boom. And as you guys can see, it's saved. And to save it, to keep saving it, you can you can press Control S. That the S is, is this for save. What's happening, guys? My name is Alex, and first of all, guys. I want to talk to you guys because as you guys can see at the title, I think at the bottom of the video, um, it says last episode and in the thumbnail it says final episode, but that's, that's the same. But as you guys can see, this is going to be the last episode of Adobe Audition on my channel. I've done almost 30 freaking, um, I did almost 30 episodes and I think I started this series. Let me check real quick. September 7th this year, I started this series and every Monday and Friday I upload a tutorial. I want to thank you guys for that. I mean, I uploaded a single tutorial and you guys are always so freaking awesome to like the video and to share the video and sometimes even the videos have more likes than views and it's all because of you guys and youtube is going to explode in 2016 i'm telling you that and um you guys can expect so much awesome content in 2016 you guys cannot believe it how cool it's going to be so thank you guys for that and the support on this on this series i would say let's get started so basically i'm going to show you guys how like the basics of adobe audition every episode i'll show you guys a specific like a specific thing like how to you know, use a compressor how to how to reduce background noise how to use the equalizer how to record how to make your or like a robot voice how to make freaking radio voice how to export an mp3 all those items are just you know per episode and right now in this very last episode i'm just gonna run through a few things uh, like the basic stuff of adobe audition so you can record straight away so i would say let's get started okay guys so for the last time we are on this uh, adobe, uh, adobe audition cs6 uh, program and the first thing i'm gonna tell you guys is how to set up your microphone because this is an actual audio uh, recording program so it makes sense to show you guys how to set up your microphone so you record it instead of showing you how to use a like kind of effect because that's not actually the basics you know so the first thing you want to do is you want to you know plug in your microphone then you want to go to edit preferences and you want to pick general then you see this tab and you want to skip all those and you want to jump straight to audio hardware and then you want to see your default input that's really really easy the input Input is just your microphone, so you're going to click on your microphone in this list, which in my case is the Samsung CO1U Pro. Click at that one. And to be able to hear what you record and actually hear all the audio of this program, you're going to go to the outputs and you want to pick your speakers. As you guys can see, I have a few um, you know, devices and this is just my main one. It says Luidsprekers. It's Dutch for speakers. You guys know how it works. So you just want to click on that and then you're basically set for that part. So you click on OK. And now you've set up your microphone. It's really simple. And how to record is like this. You want to go to your up track at the top. You want to click on R. That's aim for record. And as you guys can see, when I talk, the sound waves going up that means that it recognizes my uh, microphone and it's ready for recording the next thing you want to do to record is really simple you're going to go to the bottom click on this red dot this icon this recording icon you want to click that boom and then you can see there is audio capturing that's how you set up your microphone and that's how you record in terms of saving your project so you don't lose it um, you want to go to file and you want to click on save as and you want to name your file like what you want and basically this is not like dot mp3 or this is not like an audio format this is just Adobe Audition CS6 file itself. So if you click on it, it's not going to play sound. It's going to open the program. I'm just going to call this last episode. Boom, like this. And as you guys can see, it's saved. And to save it, to keep saving it, you can you can press Control S. That the S is, is for save. That's what you can do right there. That's basically how you record. That's basically how you save your project. And to export it, really simple. You just want to select everything that you want to export. You click on File, Export, Multitrack, Mix Down. And here you want to choose Time Selection. So Time Selection means that you're going to export everything you selected. You just want to click on that. And as you guys can see, this is just the export menu. What you want to do is you want to choose your location by clicking on browse. You want to pick um, the highest quality possible. So you want to pick this one at the bottom. This is the highest one. Click on OK. And then you want to click on your format. I'm just going to pick MP3. And then you want to just name it. Let's, let's, let's say last episode. And then when you click on OK, and then it's exporting. So that's how simple it is, guys. Those are like the basics. If you want to know more advanced stuff, you can check out the playlist in the description. This was the last episode, guys. Thank you guys for the continuous support on this series and actually on all the series, just on my channel in general. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this series. Make sure to tweet me or comment me which one was your favorite episode of which one was the episode you learned the most and you can just leave, let me know. So thank you guys for watching. I'll, I'll see you guys next week, Monday for, I'm gonna announce it, After Effects. After Effects 
Effect series is coming soon, so I'll catch you guys Monday in the new year. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in terms of a new uh, tutorial on Monday next year, but, well, like in about one, one week from now. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys next year.